Hello, good evening, my friends. Marlon, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm thank fine. you. I can see you are wearing the Trooper t-shirt, right? The Trooper, yes. Yes, yes, I think, let me see. Let me see. The trooper is on peace of mind. Peace of mind, yes. yes right, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, la edad me está afectando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, yeah, one of my favorite albums. Yes, and of course, wonderful. And yes. I can see also Andrea that she's wearing like uh, El Salvador, hello, El Salvador jersey, El Salvador t shirt. Wow. Did you watch yeah. the, did you watch the game? This el partido? No, no lo pude ver, pero really? sí hubiera querido verlo. Yes, yeah, it was good. Yeah. I think the second goal was was was, was the best. Yeah, like so maybe. Let, so let, let, let's see how they, they do it. Vamos a ver cómo lo hacen. A ver si no me decepcionan otra vez. I hope so. Como siempre, cabal. Como, como mis relaciones pasadas. Okay, so but we hope we hope that El Salvador can can pass to the next level and keep on winning. Que se mantenga ganando. I hope so. Well, that's nice. But I like. Well, maybe I prefer the the the. Well, maybe the other selecta, the selecta playera is, I think it is, it is better, but well, let's see. Okay, so here we have Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you doing? Um, fine. Fine, okay. Are you having visits now? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's it. Okay. okay, you are a very important person. Yes. 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 <laughs> that happens. Of course, you're famous. Okay. Good. So uh, let's see, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. I'm oh, fine. We're fine. Okay. Ahora que te veo. Now that you can focus the camera on, on your face. Porque a veces. A veces eso solo así está, solo así medio, sir. Oh. You are so mysterious, muy misteriosa esta mujer. ¿Te escondes? No, no, que no. Ok. Ya moví la cámara. Sí, hey, ya me di cuenta. Ok, good. Ok, so, and here we have also Cristian Alberto. Hello, Cristian. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I am fine. You're fine. We'll go. That's perfect. Are you yes. at home or working, Christian? Um, home. Okay, home. Okay, that's good. Okay. Nice, nice. You're at home finally. And hey, Carla, do, do you feel cold? Siente frío? Yes. Es que me mojé. Really? Well, I hope you you don't get sick. Espero que no te enfermes. Ojalá because, que no. Because it's Monday. Okay. Es terrible enfermarse el lunes. I hope not. Sí. Espero que no. Okay, we also have Dora. Dorita, hello. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good? Good. Okay, Dora, I like your poster. The poster of Jesus that you have. Yeah, I like it. That's nice. Good. Okay, and Nancy. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Tired. More or less, so so. Okay. Cansado, tiring. Tiring, but tired is cansado, pero tiring is un día cansado, por ejemplo, ah, una situación. Okay. So, are you feel tired? Tired. Okay, I'm going to explain you that. Le voy a explicar eso porque ya vimos parte de los adjectives, okay? So we also have um, eh, Diana. Dianita, ¿qué tenés? ¿Qué te estás escondiendo, mujer? Hello. Hola. Te escondes, okay. Hello. How are you? Good? Perfect. But, wow, that's nice. I, I like that attitude. Me gusta esa actitud. Leslie, hello. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? 
Very good. Perfect. Uh, okay, that's perfect. Are you at home, Leslie? Okay, mm -hmm. pero que si estás en casa. Yes, are you at home, right? Yes. Okay, nice. And Jose Miguel, are you driving, my friend? ¿Vas manejando? Sí. Okay, Ahorita okay. voy en eso. Okay, okay. Tell me, let me know when you're at home. Me avisas cuando estás no. en casa, okay? Okay, okay? okay, my beautiful people, como dice Marilyn Manson. And today is the last week, la última semana. So after this class, we have four more, tenemos cuatro más, y después de eso ustedes ya van a estar libres, free of sins, libres de pecado, porque lo puedo dejar ir, libres de pecado, ok? So remember, we have the last homework, tenemos, bueno, ya le voy a dar un par de avisos para esta semana que es súper, hiper, mega, importante, important. So, but first, uh, let me tell you that the, today's topic is how to use prepositions of place. Eh, las preposiciones de lugar son importantes principalmente para identificar we can identify things, objects, or places. Okay? So, for example, if you find, uh, yes, an American, and he wants to go to a, a, a place, for, for example, he wants to go to Metro Centro, and you are near there, y tú estás cerca de ahí, so maybe you can give directions. Tú puedes dar indicaciones. Or even if you travel, or even in the, in the, in, in the workplace, si están en el trabajo, and that person wants to, maybe I'm talking about an, Amer an American, and he wants to go to another department here, there in, in the workplace, you can explain how to get into there. Puedes explicarle cómo llegar ahí. Or maybe if, if that person wants uh, an, an specific object, you can tell him or tell her where to find it, okay? Entonces, para eso es bien importante eso, the propositions in place, okay? And what is the weather that you prefer? Um, but for this, vamos a ver quién se acuerda. Claudia, tell me one weather that you, what, one type of weather that you remember. Because we study on Friday, lo estudiamos el viernes, and your memory is amazing. Increíble su memoria. Um, Sony. 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 Sony me recuerda lo fresco que me compraba de a Colón. Okay, Sony, yes, Sony. Um, what about Nancy? Do you remember one type of weather? Cloudy. Cloudy, como Claudia. Pero sin la A, yes, Claudia. <laughs> okay, te está troleando, mira Claudia. Okay, Dora, what about you? Windy. Windy. Windy, okay, good, that's nice. What about Andrea? Salvadorian girl. Snowy. Snowy, yes. Uh, Carmen. No he podido ver la grabación. Really, but we started. Ah, okay. I think you, 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 you went out of, of, of the class, maybe. Okay, no problem. Marlon, what about you, my friend? You remember one or two, right? Perdón, perdón. No han dicho rainy. No, rainy, rainy no. No, no rainy. rainy. No. Lluvioso. Okay. Yes, rainy. okay. Perfect. Cristian. Eh, foggy. Foggy, yes, of course. Foggy. Siempre se me hace la palabra parecida a frog como, como sapo, pero no. Okay, Leslie. Vamos, Leslie. Busca en tu interior. Stormy. Stormy, yes, stormy, of course. Okay, so um, let's see. And we have sunny, no sunny, right? Sunny. And we have rainy, snowy, rainbow. Uh, this one didn't tell me, you, you didn't mention it, but uh, maybe it is not a type of weather, no es un tipo de clima, but it is something that appears in, in, the, in the sky, in the cielo. Sky, sky es cielo de firmamento, and heaven is cielo de paraíso. Heaven, for example, if you believe, if you're Catholic or maybe you're Christian, you think that you, when you die, you go to heaven or to hell. ¿verdad? Pueden ir al cielo como Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, or hell como ACDC, Highway to Hell. Okay. 
So we have ways to say yo también, but before this, pero antes de eso, quiero explicarles algo. There is uh, something uh, that is very important uh, to use um, adjectives. Okay, cuando decimos interesting, estamos diciendo que algo es interesante. Eso es bien importante. Eh, we say interesting es que algo es interesante. A person is interesting or a place is interesting. O sea, una persona es interesante. Ok. Interesante. But when we say interested, decimos que esa persona es interesada. One example. Let's talk about Huayua. Huayua, it's a beautiful place and an interesting village. Un pueblo interesante. And you can say, Nancy is interested in traveling to Huayua. Nancy está interesada en viajar a Huayua. Okay? Or maybe we can say, Nancy has a boyfriend. The boyfriend has a lot of money. So Nancy is interested for the money. So that's, uh, that's the difference. Okay. Pero si el sugar daddy es interesante. So that the sugar daddy is interesting. Okay. And Nancy is interested. Okay. So that's the difference. Interesting, interested, did, did. Okay. Esto es el pasado participio del verbo regular. We have another example. We have boring. When we say boring is that, uh, for example, you go to a meeting and the meeting is, well, the boss or the person in charge of the meeting is speaking a lot of things that you already know. Ya sabes las cosas que está hablando en la reunión. So you are like, uh, you are sleepy, tienes sueño. So you say, wow, well, this meeting is boring. Esta reunión es aburrida, okay? But if you say, I am bored, if you say, I am bored, yo estoy aburrido. Se lo voy a poner acá. Ok, interesante. Lo de arriba. Interesado. When we say interesante, interesado. Ok, so we have boring, eh, bored. Esto es, ambos significan aburrido. Pero cuando decimos boring, when we say boring, hacemos que la situación sea aburrida. ¿Ok? Les estoy explicando eso porque eh, normalmente eso confunde. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos boring, hacemos, por ejemplo, si Andrea, digamos, eh, let's suppose that we are talking with Andrea and Andrea is talking always the same topic. Andrea siempre está hablando de lo mismo. Podemos decir, ah, Andrea is boring. Andrea es aburrida porque siempre se queja de su novio y que no sé qué. So that's something that may happen. Algo que puede pasar que una persona es aburrida. Eh, a meeting can be boring. Una aburrida puede ser aburrida. Pero cuando decimos bored, es que la persona aquí, ve persona está aburrida. Wow, I failed. Ok, esa es la diferencia. Interesting, el lugar es interesante, la persona es interesante. Interested, la persona está, es interesada, o el, ¿verdad? Más que todo una persona. Boring, es aburrido, que hace que lo demás sea aburrido. Ok. Y, y bored, es cuando ustedes están aburridos, realmente. Ok. So that's the difference. Digamos que Digamos, digamos que no, bueno, digamos que es la realidad. Yo soy, y, y si digo, the teacher is boring. Cuando dice que el teacher es boring, es que el teacher los aburre a ustedes. O sea, yo los aburro con mi vida. Ok, but if you say, um, por ejemplo, Carmen dice, um, teacher, I am bored. Teacher, estoy aburrida. Because you are boring, porque usted, teacher, es aburrido. Yeah. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. So, interesting, interested. Boring, bored, con D al final, bored, boring, bored, ok, 
Okay. So for you, the, don't get confused. Tenemos la otra que es confusing versus confused. Entonces, confusing is a, a situation, an opinion that confuses you. O sea, esa, pues, esa persona o esa opinión te confunde. But confused es que tú estás confundido porque algo te confundió. Okay? So that's the difference between some adjectives, de algunos adjetivos. Y estos adjetivos, miren si se dan cuenta, se utilizan en pasado participio de los verbos regulares. O sea, lleva ed. Ok, lleva ed. Ok. okay. So uh, that, that's the difference for you. Maybe if you want to apply something, uh, well, similar in a conversation or to describe a person or a place you can for you don't to get confused or don't get a mistake para que no se equivoque. Okay. Vamos con ways to say yo también. Remember me too or so am I so do I. Okay. And also we have the ways to say yo tampoco. I am not either. I don't either. Neither am I. Neither do I. Okay, so um, we're going to also uh, to do the same activity that we did on Friday, but faster. La vamos a hacer más rápido because you already know how to use it. Ya la, la vamos a hacer más rápido porque ya saben cómo, cómo hacerlo. Okay, so here we have um, from one to eight. Okay, so um, let's see. Number, well, we're going to start with Nancy. Nancy está con todos los poderes. Nancy. And then Marlon. Okay, Nancy, pick one. Sorry? Sara. Sara. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sara. Love loves. 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 Chocolate. 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 Uh, do I do? Mm -mm. Do, do I? Do, yes. do I? So I do. Inventando esta mujer. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, what about um, we go now with Marlon and after Marlon we go with Andrea. Uh, number, number two, I don't, I don't, number two, I don't like the piano. Uh, neither do I. Neither do I. Perfect. Andrea then Carmen. Uh, number four, he is in the party. Uh, I don't either. Mm, estamos utilizando el is. Eh, el verb be. Entonces es I am not either. Yeah, that's nice. Carmen, then Dora. Number three. Mm -hmm. Catherine is, is cana, Canadian. Canadian. Mm -hmm. Canadian. Eh, entonces sería eh, neither me ok, la vieja confiable neither me, ok, <laughs> good we go with Dora, right? and then Christian five ok, five Lucy doesn't come early in the morning perfect eh, I am Estamos utilizando un verbo. No es verb be, es verbo de acción. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm going to give you time. Te daré tiempo. Ok, Cristian. And then, uh, Claudia. Number eight. Eight. Uh -huh. She doesn't uh, have any brothers or sisters. Uh -huh. uh, neither do I. Oh. Yep, neither do I. It's, it's, it's okay. Okay, and then we go with. Um, aquí más le había dicho. Nobody. Okay. Dora. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. Neither do I. That's okay. Okay, now uh, to finish, we have Diana and Alex. Number seven. Okay. Dan lives in Madrid. Mm -hmm. mm, so do I. Yep, so do I. That's nice. 
Eh, Alex. Eh, six. Six, yeah. I had to study this weekend. Mm -hmm. So do I. So do I, perfect. Okay, we go now. Uh, what is the biggest risk you have taken? Vamos con, ¿cuál es el riesgo más grande que has tomado? And we're going to start with some of you. So the first person in this case is going to be Marlon to break the ice. Eh, cuando decimos break the ice, es como para romper el hielo, ¿verdad? Como para, para, para el primer, la primera víctima. Okay, but first, I'm going to um, check the attendance list, okay? Guys, I know that some of you are driving, but in any case, let me know always if you are uh, moving, if you are driving, just let me know and I will uh, know or I will be aware that I cannot ask you for participation, okay? So, uh, Albert Soriano is not here, but Andrea, yes, right, Andrea? I'm here. Nice, Carmen. I'm here. Good, Cesar, uh, I don't know if Cesar will uh, respond because he's working. Uh, Claudia. Present. Perfect, Christian. Present. Good, Alex. Present. Nice, Diana. Present. Good, Tora. Present. Mm -hmm. Ever, no, not ever. Uh, Javier. No. Jose Fajardo, no, I'm sorry. Jose Miguel is driving. Carla. Present. Thank you. Kelvin. Kelvin mm, either. Uh, Leslie, yes, right. Okay, Leslie, yes, I know. Uh, Marlon, hello, Marlon. Present. Thank you. Hello, present. Nice. Uh, Nancy. Present. Good. Uh, Susana. Susi is not here. Sorry, que me lo pasó a Susi. Judith is uh, driving. Present. Thank you, thank you. Se que va manejando Judith. Okay, so thank you for telling me. Gracias por comentarme. Uh, okay, so uh, we start with Marlon and later we go with Claudia. Okay, para ponerle feeling a esto. Uh, the biggest uh, risk I have taken. Um, bueno, voy a comentar algo que me pasó realmente. Okay, uh, when when uh, I I when I was uh, I was in, in a bus. I I I I was. Uh, Como es, iba hacia mi casa. I no no. I was going. I was going home. I was going. I was going. Oh, I was, or I was coming to my house. Ah, yeah, that also. In the bus, I I I sleep. Mm -hmm. me, I I, I slept. slept. I slept. Yes. I yes. slept. I slept, and then uh, when I wake up, oh, wake I up. woke up. Woke up. Yeah. When I woke mm -hmm. up, when I woke up, uh, uh, I was in the in the in, in el in la terminal in el punto del bus. Yeah, the, 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 the terminal. Really? Yes, in, in, the bus? in the in the in in the um, neighborhood, la colonia. Yeah, 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 uh, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, but it it, it is uh, dangerous. Dangerous because it's an, another people. It's the opposite. Opposite. <laughs> yes. Mm, uh, I can imagine. And, and then I I had to walk. Wow. And I was I was walking. Uh, very at night it was night yes, slow like quiet i was very i was quiet. slow and slow and quiet mm -hmm. okay wow. that's what what i i can uh, tell you yes but that's very <laughs> risky risky con la y acá significa riesgoso risk es riesgo entonces risky ya es un adjetivo it was very risky because um, I knew or I heard about one case of one, it was a guy that he also uh, slept on the bus. And when he woke up, 
he was in a very dangerous neighborhood, but he was murdered. Los asesinaron. Yeah, dangerous. Okay. Uh, how long time ago? Hace cuánto? Uh, it was uh, about uh, eight years ago. Eight years. Okay. Yes. Wow. But it was good and wonderful that you were like safe. Estaba a salvo, and then yes, I can yes. imagine you were very worried. Yes. Yes. yes I, I was. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Thank you for for sharing, uh, Marlon. Okay. Thank you. Yes. A big race. Thanks. Okay. Now we go with Claudia, and then we go with uh, Leslie. Okay, the big trick I have think is saving my son fly at the expense of me. Okay, uh, could you repeat that again, please? Saving my son life at expense with me, of me. Mm -hmm. Guardar, te refieres a ahorrar, guardar? No, expense. Eh, gastos. Expensas mía, o sea. Ah, expenses, expenses. Expenses, o sea, expenses mía. La primera idea no te entendí. Saving my son. Uh -huh. O sea, salvarle la, vida, salvarle la vida a mi hijo a expensas mías. Save the life of my son. Save the yes. life, o save my life, uh, save my son's life uh, to son your expenses. Life. Were Expen you in a pool, in a piscina, or in, a, in the, the sea, or... How? No, is the the part in a part, part mm -hmm. in the part? No, a part, el parto. Ah, really? Okay, 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 okay. So when you were having the baby, cuando estás teniendo el bebé, you were in the hospital. Yes. Yes, you were at the hospital. Okay. And the doctors were with you and the nurses, doctores, enfermeras, yeah. Yes. Okay. Me, pus eh, me pusieron a elegir la vida de él o la mía. Okay, it was a risky, risky eh, pregnancy, un embarazo de alto riesgo, right? No, no. <laughs> oh, at that moment, en ese momento, sí, at that moment, momento, sí, was no, a no. difficult, okay, a yes. difficult decision or difficult choice. Porque normalmente cuando tenemos choice, tenemos una opción u, u otra. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, a difficult choice. Wow. So you prefer the life of your baby. Yes. Okay? And you say, well, what God wants, lo que Dios quiera, okay? What God yes. wants, okay? Wow, you are a heroine. Eres una heroína. Thank yes. you. Yes, of course. Okay, uh, well, congratulations because you are, you are healthy, está saludable, ¿verdad? So algo malía, pero, pero you are okay. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you for telling me. Yes, it was wonderful. Okay. Mm. And y Marlon que se me durmió. Pobrecito, aquí está, aquí lo voy a poner. But God slept. Porque si decimos get sleep, es dormirse, pero God, eh, God slept, eh, eh, pues. Leslie, okay. And after Leslie, we go with Nancy. Ponga activa como el café. Será que el, el mío no, no es así como un riesgo como lo de ellas. No, pero sí lo, lo considera it, hasta cierto punto arriesgado. Remember that we have trabajo, different types, pero... different types of risk. Some Ajá. people can have risk of money, of health, okay, of the kind of danger, depend, depend, okay. Riesgo, es bien general, no problem. Um, the biggest risk that I had taken has been to adventure to foreign a new home, mm, designing new home, designing if I wanted to be a, a mother science, it is not easy to lead a marriage, be a pillar in a home, work and take time to be a mother, and that's all areas work very well. Wow, that, what age 
Oh, how old were you when you formed a family? ¿Cuántos años tenías cuando formaste la familia? 22. Yes, you were very young. Estaba bastante jovencita. So, it, yes, it was a big decision, a big choice, okay, to form a family. Okay, and now you have a baby, right? One baby. Yes. One baby boy, okay. And the second? No. No. No, no, todavía no, está curada. Okay, okay. So, sí. yes, it, it is a, a, well, if you see it like that, si lo ves así, it's because you think that family is so important. Because, uh, well, some people think that to form a family is ah, no problem. We're going to solve it. Lo vamos a resolver. No. Well, it's a, it's a big decision. Okay. So uh, it's a big risk also because you don't know what is going to happen. No sabes lo que va a pasar. Okay. Thank you, Leslie. Well said. Well said. Okay. We go now with Nancy. And then we go with Diana. Hey, okay, Nancy. Showtime. Yeah. The, big, the biggest risk that I have taken mm -hmm. was to keep my previous job in which I had uh, 10 elaborate in the middle of the COVID pandemic. Wow, so you, you took that job? Uh, ¿Tomaste el trabajo? No, dejé el trabajo. Ah, you left. Entonces uh -huh. se dice, vaya, left. Es dejar o abandonar. Como en la ah. canción de Chicago. If you leave me now. Si me dejas ahora. Ok. Entonces, okay. leave es abandonar. Pero cuando decimos, podemos decir left o podemos decir I quit. Cuando dicen Ajá, quit, quit, yo me fui y todo al jefe hasta le hice una cachetada. <risa> Goodbye. Ok. No, ok. El quit es, 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 es eh, renunciar y hire es contratar, por eso los call centers a veces dicen hiring que están contratando, hiring es que, es que están contratando, ¿verdad? Hire es contratar ¿Ok? So when you see this cuando dicen hiring es que están contratando, ¿Ok? So that's it. So, uh, so you quit your job in the middle of the pandemia, right? Sí, en wow. plena pandemia, me yes. 10 años tenía que trabajar ahí, <laughs> ya no quería. Sí, rebelde. Okay. Yes, because uh, remember that we have a budget. Tenemos un presupuesto. We have a budget. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and when we have this, the, the budget, um, we have the quantity of money for food, the quantity of money for the transportation, for the gasoline, yeah, for the kids, well, whatever. So imagine to, to quit your job. Yes, it's a big risk. Pero ya ves, te vi bien. Ok, nice. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for telling me. Ok, Diana ya está así, está lista para presionar mi botón. Ya no aguanta. Ok, ya. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Uh, the biggest risk I have taken is change the work. Wow, change your job. When? The last year, this year? Mm, two no. years ago, three years ago, uh, six, six years six ago. Years. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was your previous job? What was your occupation um, in the previous job? Era prácticamente lo mismo, solamente it's the same. Que, the the uh -huh. enterprise was the is different. Um, que iba a comenzar como eventual, entonces no sabía ah, hasta final. Ah, okay, uh -huh. okay, you were not permanent. Uh -huh. Okay, but you are better. Y donde better. estaba, sí, estaba permanente. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, yes, it's an adventure, es como una aventura, uh -huh. pero no como la del grupo Nietzsche. Okay, uh -huh. adventure, yes, it's an adventure because uh, it is a risk, but now you are better, right? Sí, está mejor. Okay, that's good, that's nice. I like, I like to hear that, yes. Wonderful stories. Ah, otra cosa. Cuando decimos stories, y decimos history. Normalmente history es como history channel. Cosas que pasaron en una cierta época. De, 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 de una cierta época. And stories son como, 
pues no necesariamente verdad, aunque I know that Diana says the, 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 the truth, sé que Diana está diciendo la verdad. But story sometimes is like Toy Story, como la película Toy Story, that is something fictional, it's not true. But, but thank you for remembering this. And um, now we go with, what about if we go with Carmen? It, the best reason I have take is not leaving my husband when we joined armed men when we were eh, novios cuando éramos novios como yes, se dice eh, eh, you, you were boyfriends um, eh, you, you can say boyfriends o pueden ser fiancé pero when say fiancé son prometidos it is something more, more formal ok tranquila Nancy no te emociones so when we, <laughs> yeah, when we do this is that you are about to, you are about to, to get married. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so, so you didn't believe, tú no creías. Oh. No, es, eh, no lo dejé cuando, o sea, íbamos los dos en la noche eh, de mi casa a la casa de ah, una, you, you were unos moving. familiares okay. uh -huh. y nos salieron unos tipos armados. Y entonces él decía, váyase, váyase. Y yo, no, no me voy. Really? Wow. With guns eh, or, or yeah. knives, cuchillos or, or ah, pistolas. No. Guns. Pistola. Wow, guns, guns and roses. Wow. So, hey, what happened? ¿Qué pasó? Eh, nosotros íbamos con otras amigas, pero iban atrás de nosotros. Entonces, una salió corriendo. Yes, of eh, course. It's y la otra direction. paró un auto que venía. Y entonces, los tipos, cuando vieron que se detuvo el otro carro, ellos se fueron They, pero okay. ya le habían dado una o sea nunca supimos por qué ni qué querían ok well that 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 is very risk lo que no le pasó a Marlon te pasó a ti mismo. so uh, <laughs> yes because it, it is very you feel the adrenaline it, ah. it is very dangerous it, it, maybe some people react in different form for example one of the girls uh, she escaped, right? But yeah. the other, the other, she stopped the car, the tuvo el carro. Okay. So now, okay, good. So no, cuando me dijiste eso, solo me recordó lo de la sombra del amor, que, que pasó eso, pero eso fue una tragedia. Okay. So, but nice that uh, it was wonderful and good. Thanks God, gracias a Dios. Nothing worse happened. Nada peor pasó. Okay, good. Ya voy a por andar de enamorada, mira acá. Hmm. Ok, una noche. Es que uno a uno de cipotes. Ya hace muchos años de eso. No es como dice uno de cipotes. Claro. No, pero uno es confiado a veces. Ok, so we're going to. ¿A quién había dicho? Nobody. One else. What about if we listen to Dora? Ok, Dora. Guys. Having a second child, mm -hmm. even knowing it will be high rise. Okay, your second uh, child or your second kid, uh, what was uh, was that a dangerous pregnant? Era un embarazo yes. de riesgo. Okay, and what happened? Everything okay? Yes. Thanks God. Gracias a Dios. So uh, sometimes. There are uh, bad ends, hay finales malos, realmente, and sad y triste because of that, but thanks God, uh, everything was all right. Todo estuvo muy bien. So thank you, thank you for all your experiences. Eh, me parece que pues estamos llenando también. It is good to, to, to share those kinds of opinions and experiences because we know each other, nos conocemos más. Eh. That's fine, and we learn. Okay, thank you. We're going to uh, continue with this activity later. Now we go with prepositions of place. That is something very important. In here, we have one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see. Marlon, tell me one of the prepositions of place that you already saw. And then Claudia. On. On. Thank you, Claudia. Then we go with Alex. Between. Between. Alex, what about you then, Andrea? 
<ríe> no lo entendí mucho, bro. Vaya, ¿qué viste en imagen? Es... <ríe> Solo me acuerdo de on. Vaya, on, pero está repetida, pero no se vale. Bien, vamos con Andrea, que también le veo una risita que no se acuerda. Den Cristian. ¿Ah? In. In, yes. Cristian, den Diana. Eh, como Beijing o... Behind, yes, behind. behind. Excelente, se escribe Beijing, pero es behind. Diana, Dianita. In front of... In front of... Ok, good. Dorita, do you remember another one? Before. Ok. Me estás inventando, Dora, pero gracias. Thank you for being creative. Gracias por ser creativa. Ok, so here we have our position place. We have seven. We have in, ok. Uh, even in, on, under next to, behind, in front of, no, of, 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 in front of, between, between, okay? So here we have, um, uh, in significa adentro, on es sobre, that there is a big difference, okay? Uh, under es abajo, next to es a la par. Es por ejemplo, cuando, cuando están esperando, alguien dice next, siguiente, siguiente, Significa next y, o la par. Behind es atrás. Behind. In front of es enfrente de. Between, entre. Hay otras, uh, there are other synonyms. Hay otros sinónimos, por ejemplo. Down significa abajo. Hay una canción que se llama Down Under, que creo que todos ustedes la conocen, que es The Men at Work. Muy buena esa canción. Bien famosa. This is a very famous song. So Down Under significa abajo de abajo. Ok, so down es abajo y under también es abajo, ok. So those are like synonyms, son sinónimos. So here we have in, on, under, next to, behind, behind, in front of, between, ok. So uh, we're going to use them in the next activity. And this is the activity that made, but I'm going to show you the picture. Uh, yeah, the picture is bigger because in the PowerPoint, maybe you're going to find it like very small. Okay, so um, we're going to do this. We're going to describe this bedroom. For example, we're going to say uh, the teddy bear is, the cat is, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a decir eh, si está a la par. Uh, we can say si está abajo, si está sobre, ¿verdad? So, in case you have problems, uh, we're going to uh, watch again. Vamos a revisar esto nuevamente. Okay, remember in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between. Okay, entre. Aquí, por ejemplo, decimos, the ball is in the box. La, la pelota está en la caja. The ball is on the box. La bola o la pelota está sobre la caja. The ball is under the box. The ball is next to the box. The ball is behind the ball. The ball is behind the box. The ball is in front of the box. The ball is between the boxes. No, the boxer. The boxes. Okay, está en medio de, la, de las cajas. Okay, so we're going to use uh, this for describing. And here we have the first person, la primera persona que no me participó porque dice que no había visto, pasa todo muy rápido, dice hacer Alex. Si pasa a veces todo muy rápido, no se da cuenta. Okay, Alex, so tell me, if you need, uh, if you need like um, vocabulary, si necesitan eh, saber, por ejemplo, si se teddy bear o bear, Car, eh, socks, jeans, okay, cat, curtains, poster, okay, computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, And the then, we, then we go with Nancy, okay? The cat in. Is. The cat is. 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 Um, Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde? No, no está abajo. Aquí está el carro. Ok, Nancy, piensa la tuya. 
Okay, I'm going to give you time to dar tiempo, Alex. Okay, Nancy, you go, and then Dora. The ball is under. The chair, chair. chair the chair. Well, under, under. Under. No, under, con O. Con, under? Under, con O. Con O. <laughs> sí, me decís con O y decís who. Okay, under. <laughs> Under, okay. Under, under, como thunder, okay. Go, Dora, then we go with Carmen. The fish on the table. Yeah, the fish are, in este caso, fish es eh, de los sustantivos que no se pluralizan, no se dice fishes, tú lo dijiste bien. The fish are, bien raro, bien raro, no se dice the fishes. The fish are on the table. Thank you. Okay, we go with Carmen, then Marlo. The teddy bear is in front of the bed. Yeah, in front of the bed. Go Marlon, then Diana. Uh, the, the, the ball is uh, under the chair. Yeah, but that is repeated. Nancy said that. Could you mention uh, another one? Yeah. yeah. Perdón, uh, the cat is next to the bed. Okay, the cat is next to the bed. Diana, then we go with Claudia. Okay. The car is between the socks. Yes, aquí están, ven, estos han de estar usados. Okay, Claudia, then Alex. The book is on the table. Yeah, the book is on the table, and we go Alex, and then Leslie. Alex. The TV. Mm -hmm. In the next two. Mm -hmm. Next two. Si la televisión a la par de, a la par de qué? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Control. Silla, silla. Eh, vaya, no está a la par de la silla, está a la par del control. O puede decir que ah, está okay. sobre la mesa, on the ah, table. So on the table. The TV is on the table. Uh, what about Leslie? Mm, a computer mm -hmm. is on the table. Okay. Uh, now we go with uh, Andrea, then Claudia. Claudia, the Claudia. Mm -hmm. uh, the box is under the table. Uh, the what? Ah, the box Hola. is on the table. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Carla, your turn. And the pencil on the table. Okay, the pencils are on the table or the pencil is on the table. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we continue. Continuamos entonces because this is just uh, like, a, like a brief. Es como un, una breve. Uh, okay. Reseña de todo esto. Okay, now here we have this picture and Christian is going to help us. Christian nos va a ayudar. Esto se dice fishbowl. Esto es, ¿qué? Magazine, puede ser un book. Esto se dice pillow. Esto es sofá. Okay, this is table. Okay. So, uh, Christian, and then we go with Andrea again. Uh, the cat is on on the ¿cómo se dice? sofa 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 yes. sofa thank you okay Andrea then Dora the dog is next to sofa yep good okay uh, we go next Dora then Carmen the ball is under the table yeah under the table good Carmen then Marlon the book is on the on the table. Yeah, the book is on the table. And Marlon? Uh, the pillow is uh, behind the cat. Behind the cat. Okay, that's nice. Now, here we, have, here we have some other uh, prepositions of place, but this is used for address. Eso se utiliza para la dirección, for addresses. For example, we can say on 4th Avenue, en la Cuarta Avenida, on the corner. ¿Verdad? En, sobre la esquina. On, ¿Verdad? On the street, sobre la calle. ¿verdad? O podemos decir on main street, que es sobre la calle principal. And we can use this, especially 
for giving directions. Ya vamos a explicar, ya vamos a ver eso, cómo dar indicaciones en una ciudad. Ok, so we're going to study this. So remember on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street. And here we have in, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. If you notice, this is for specific places. For example, in El Salvador, where I'm in the country, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, in Ilo Vasco, in Soyapango, in San Marcos. Yeah, you can use in, okay? For example, uh, somebody asks you, hey, what is your workplace? Ah, my workplace is in Santa Elena, in San Jacinto. Okay, we can use in for this. And on, or you can say uh, it is on Main Avenue, en la primera, en la calle principal, ¿verdad? On street, on Castellanos Street or whatever. At, at the meeting room, at the work, at the bank. Esto específicamente at, siempre piénsenlo por un lugar súper específico, especialmente puede ser en el trabajo, en un banco, at the mall, at the mall, en el centro comercial, uh, ok, at the hospital, uh, you can say, uh, como lugares así súper, súper específicos, ok, at the cinema, en el cine, at the disco, at the restaurant, ok, so let's see, ok, on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in Salvador. Quiero que me pronuncien una, cualquiera de estas, okay? Comenzamos, we start with Christian, and then we go with Alex. Okay, Christian, pick one. Eh, cualquiera. Yeah, whatever. Oh, on the street. Okay, Alex. At the bank. Okay, at the bank. Andrea. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Dora, uh, then Carmen. In the park. In the park, yes. On oh. the corner. Okay, good, on the corner, yes. Por eso es que en los tiros de esquina se dicen corner, ¿verdad? En fútbol, por eso mismo. Okay, uh, on the corner we go with Diana and then uh, Claudia. At the meeting room. At the meeting room, thank you. Claudia, then Marlon. On Fourth Avenue. On the Fourth Avenue, okay. Marlon, then we go with Nancy. Uh, in El Salvador. Thank you, Nancy. So to go. Mm -hmm. And then Carly. I can hear you, Nancy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nancy. Which one? Tell me. At work. At work. Okay. Thank you. And Carla. In San Salvador. Okay. In San Salvador. San Salvador, okay, that's it, thank you. Okay, now here we have, complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place, okay? So using uh, these prepositions of place, depending on the sentence, we're going to use on, in, and. Remember that on is for streets or for avenues. In uh, is for maybe countries. Yes, uh, we, we can say, yeah. Uh, Okay, mm -hmm. like departments and at is for meeting room at work. Okay, so uh, what about if we start with Diana and then we go with Marlon? Okay, Diana, pick one. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, I work in the bank that is on First Avenue mm -hmm. and various streets. Yes, First Avenue, yes. Andrews, good. Okay, Marlon, then Christian. Number three. Okay. We see you at training room or at the cafeteria? Yes, cafeteria. Cafeteria. Uh -huh. Okay, I prefer to say cafe, but, but cafeteria okay. is also common. Thank you. Christian and then Dora. And the factory is located no sé cómo se pronuncia. Located, located. Located in La Libertad. Yeah, of course, yes. Uh, who's next? Dora, right? And then Andrea. Hi. My relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street, yes. Okay, and we go with Andrea, then we go with Nancy. 
Number four. Number four. Anna in the company that is at town. Mm -mm. In, 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 in town. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Andreita. Hey, Nancy, six. Tell him that we are, pero aquí ya está el at the Yeah, room. Bárbara. No, es que es, un, es una prueba, es una prueba para ver si, <laughs> si, si lo pasaba. Vaya. Estoy viendo que sí está la boxa. Yeah, at the middle room with everybody. Okay, thank you. That's nice. What is the biscuit? The, the biggest biscuit. Biggest risk you have taken. We have the other, the one. Okay, so let's listen now to Andre. You have a lot of stories. You have a lot of stories. Yeah, very interesting anecdotes but just uh, select one and tell us and after andrea we're having christian the biggest risk i have taken is drive motorcycle really <laughs> yes like renegados like like cocolito yes <laughs> wow and a question can you can you ride a bike with this or see puedes or only once, solo fue una vez. No, si sí puedo. You can. Do you have yes. a Do you have a motorcycle? Sí, pero todavía no no me la llevo así ah, lejos. Ah, prestada, eh. Uy. No es ya. <laughs> Bye. Um, aquí normalmente se dice ride, ¿verdad? No sé si vieron la película de Ghost Rider de Nicolas Cage, ¿ok? Así te sentía. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, ride a motorcycle or ride a bike. Yes, I think I'm afraid of that. My brothers, my, they, they, they can ride a bike. They, they drive it, but I, in, my, in my personal opinion, I think it's dangerous. But depends depends on the person, right? If you take care of it, tienes cuidado, no pasa nada, okay? Because a lot of people, they are crazy driving so fast. Sí, gente, pero loca. Okay, so now we go with Christian, right? Sí, Christian, había dicho. And then after Christian, we're having Carla. Eh, sería defend myself from eh, an assault or assault. Really? No. Wow, assault. Yes, yes. Okay. Depending. Mm -hmm. from Really, uh, how long, well, how long time ago? Hace cuánto tiempo? A ver, cuando estaba en la universidad. Where's the university? Como... Six, de, ten, two, eight years? No, two and oh, three years old. Two or three years ago. Okay, sí, wow. Yes. Really, did you get, did you get hurt? ¿Te lastimaron? No. Correo no. ladrón. <laughs> Do you know Kung Fu or something like that or what? No. No, también andaba armado. Ah, really? Wow. So, <laughs> Christian is always uh, prepared. So, you're prepared. So, when uh, people say get hard, es como herirse. I get hard, I got hard. Or I, I get wound. Wound es un, ya es una herida. Yes, una herida. It can be by a knife, puede ser con un cuchillo, or, or by a dam. Okay. And here we have Thief. Creo que ya se los había dado. Robert. Thief is a person who assaults with a, an arm, con una arma. Okay. But Robert is maybe, son algunos que se le llaman pickpocket. Los pickpockets son los que tienen manos suaves y que le, le roban la, la billetera a uno y uno no se da cuenta. Okay. So that happens, okay? That's the difference. Robert is a person who's taking things from the house or, or from, yeah, your, your wallet or your cell phone. But a thief is a person who assaults. Una persona que se lo so, uh, Thank you, Christian. Okay, Christian okay, okay, thank you. And um, now we go with um, Carla, right? Okay, Carla, and after Carla, we're having um, Christian. Yeah, to try and then the 
to truck. Okay, you learned how to drive at 10, a los 10 años. No, eh, que aprendí a manejar un camión. Ah, yes, a truck. I, I Ahí heard aprendí a, a manejar en un camión de 10 toneladas. 10 tons, really? 10 tons. Wow, that's nice. So you, you can demonstrate that women can, las mujeres si pueden, and you can do it better, pueden hacerlo mejor, okay? Wow, how long time ago? Hace cuánto tiempo? Eight, 18. 18. You were 18, tenías 18 años. No, hace, hace 18, 18 años. años. Okay, 18 years ago, okay. So you have a lot of experience, and now can you drive? Now, ahora puedes manejar. Sí puedo, pero no. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you forgot a little bit. Quizás te olvidó algo. Wow, that's nice. Well, very interesting. Okay, and what about Alex? Yes. Solo tú faltas, Alex, okay? The biggest ride I have taken is driver the uh, ride a motorcycle. Ah, ride right, a motorcycle. But now you what? have it, right? Tienes what? una, verdad? Yes. Okay. Without break. Without Sin break. Frenos. Sin fren. Wow. Yes. That, that's really dangerous. Okay. Break or breaks. Frenos. Okay. So do you remember what part were you riding? In qué, in qué parte andamos manejando? In San Miguel. In San Miguel. Ah, hay por donde Nancy. Okay. Sí, y tendría que, tendría que venirme hasta Jiquilisco. Yes, sí, sí, me tocó. Oriente. Sí, sí había me echado esa, esa ruta. A lot of road, bastante camino. Pasa llevando un par de garrobitos que venden ahí. Van así, en la calle. Yes. yes, of course, yes. What I like is jicama in there. Pero jicama bastante jugositos buenas. Yeah, I remember. Sí. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. For your experiences, creo que ustedes han tenido experiencias religiosas. Se han salvado, Diosito los quiere. No ha llegado su hora todavía. Okay, so here, can you see, look at this image because I'm going to change it. Okay, you have five seconds. Come on, watch it. Okay, now here we have a map. A map of a city, okay? So Carla, what do you remember? Do you remember any place of the map? Uh, a park. Okay, you remember a park. What about Claudia and then Diana? Claudia? Mall. Mall, yes. Diana and then Dora. Church. Okay, George, Dora, se la quitaron al pobre Dorita, okay? Dora, then Marlon. Yo sure, iba a decir. Ni modo, así es la vida, te ganaron. Se te metieron en la fila, okay? Um, bank. Bank, yes. Marlon, then Christian. Eh, ya dijeron Park. Yeah, park, church, bank, mall. Mall, yes, it's already said, it's repeated. Another? Um, híjole. No, hombre. ah, mira, primera <laughs> vez que te la ganaron, mira. <laughs> sí. Okay, okay. Eh, no me recuerdo muy bien. Okay, I'm going to give you time. What about Andrea? Que Andreita no me puede decir que la ganaron. Que vea. Sport Palace. Sport Palace, que siempre me dice eso. Okay, Sport Palace. Nancy, what else do you remember? School. 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 Yes, school. Creo que me van a recordar por school y por el end, ¿verdad? Okay, what about Carmen? A book war. Book, yes, nice. Leslie? City Hall. Yes, City Hall. Okay, here we have, uh, as you can see, 
Um, okay, like this. Here we have the parts of a city. Uh, we have the park, we have mall, que es el centro comercial, bank, very important. We have sport palace that uh, it is a place where, well, you can practice sports, uh, school, church, definitely. City hall is a uh, alcaldía, okay? So like algunos le dicen, how do you say? Um, in Guatemala, por ejemplo, in Guatemala they say, se me ha ido como regimiento. Parece que se le dice. Eh, no. Se me, ya me acuerdo. Book word. Uh, we can imagine that it's a library. Arrows Company. Que si se llama la compañía. Arrow es flecha. Okay. Arrows Company. Uh, maybe we don't know what is the company about. We have restaurant. No, restaurant. 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 Okay. Entonces siempre que vean la A y la U se pronuncia como O. Oh, restaurant. Ya vamos a ver qué otra palabra tiene A y U, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, no se dice Australia, se dice Australia. Australia. Okay. Muy bien. Eh, and also, here we have First Avenue. Look, First Avenue and Second Avenue. And we have Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. So, it is a, it's very different to say Avenue and Street. So, can you see? And now that we can identify the parts of a city, we're going to, well, uh, look at this. Uh, here a question. Which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the city hall on? Which street is the park on? So we're going to look at the map, okay? So for this, uh, in this case, uh, we're having Andrea. Pick one, Andrea. One, two, or three. Uh, three. Three, okay. Can you read it, please? Uh, which street in the park on? Street, street. Yes. Street. Okay, which street is the park on? Okay, tell me. Which street? Bar Barrio Street. Okay, and also we can say is between, is between, uh, uh, second Avenue. No, because uh, we are talking about streets. Estamos hablando de calles. So, okay, between Barrio Street and, and Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Okay, now we have number two. What about Carmen? What do you pick? One or two? Uh, two. Okay, can you read it, please? Which street is the city hall on? Mm -hmm. Which street is the city hall? Okay. Here we can identify the city hall. So what is the street next to the city hall? In the, in the second avenue. Okay. Solo, solo sería la calle. Just the street. Mm -hmm. uh, the Roosevelt Street. Mm -hmm. Sería on. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Roosevelt, on Roosevelt street. street. Yes, definitely. Okay. And now here we have Diana. Could you tell me number one, Diana, please? Which street in the restaurant on? Is the restaurant on, okay. Which street? Prosper Street. Prosper Street, okay, nice. So now here we have this. Ways to ask for address or direction. Podemos decir direction or direction. How you feel happy, como ustedes sientan felices, okay? But I prefer direction, okay? Prefiero direction. So, ways to, to ask for address or direction. And here we have, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the museum, 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 no museum, museum, okay? Then here, excuse me, how do I get to the post office? Pardon me, pardon, pardon. Como si la de, pardon me. I'm lost. How do I get to the cafe? Okay. How do I get to the cafe? And please tell me how I get to your apartment. Entonces, discúlpame. Puedes decirme el camino hacia el museo. Discúlpame. Eh, ¿Cómo llego a la, a la oficina postal? Perdóneme, 
También se puede decir, I'm sorry, excuse me. Este es pardon me. También es muy, muy americano. Pardon me, I'm lost, estoy perdido. How do I get to the cafe? ¿Cómo llego a la cafetería? Please tell me how to, uh, how I get to your apartment. ¿Cómo, por favor, dime cómo llego a tu apartamento. Creo que este voy a cambiar. Este ejemplo está distante. Ok, so uh, Marlon, select one and read it and then we go with Dora. Ok. Ok, number one. Excuse me, can you tell me uh, the way to the museum? Ah, museum. Good. Ok, Dora and then we go with Claudia. Excuse me. No miro. Excuse me, how do, how do I get to the post office? Yes, how do I get to the post office? Okay, good. And now we go with Claudia, right? Number three. Number three. Pardon me, I, I am lost. How do you get to the coffee? Mm -hmm. How do I get? Eso normalmente That's cuesta. Lo dijiste bien, yes, nice. Normalmente no, no, no confundimos. How do I get? How do I get to it? So the, ¿Qué dijiste? Café, right? Yes. Okay, and now we go with Alex. My friend, tell me, please. The last one. Please, please tell me how I get to your apartment. Yes, apartment, apartment. Apartment. Yes, of course. Okay, and now here we have this. So... I'm going to give you five seconds. Le doy nuevamente cinco segundos. Easy, cheesy, ¿verdad? Fácil. Ok. Para que vean que se lo voy a emplear para que no digan que son malos, ¿no? Oops, ya me pasé los cinco segundos. Demasiado piadoso. Ok. Ya sé quién voy a dejar de último. Carla, tell me one. Um, el book. Bookstore. Bookstore. No, después Bookstore. voy a ver, a ver si no me estás mintiendo. Ok, Nancy, tell me. ¿Van? Va. Es más fácil. Vaya, pues la voy a valer. Vaya. Andrea. No, Andrea, de último. No, dale, Andrea. No problem. Eh, flower shop. ¿Hm? Flower shop. Ah, flower shop. Flower shop. Ah, andamos de románticos también, of course. Claudia. Go ahead. And then Diana. Supermarket. Okay, supermarket. Very important. Diana, then Leslie. Pet shop. Pet shop boys. Yes, pet shop. Okay, Leslie. Toy store. Toy store. Uh -huh, parece toy store. Okay, Christian. And then Carl. And no, Christian. And then. And then Dora. Music store. Go music store. Dora, then Marlon. Supermarket. Super, um, supermarket. Repeat it, Dora. Come on. You can do it. Restaurant. 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 Okay. Mm, Dora. Se te malearon. Okay, Marlon. Go ahead. Hoy sí, Marlon. Sí, eh, fast food restaurant. Yes, hoy sí, dije, voy a agarrar una que no me la, no me la pueda ganar, dijo. Yes, that's nice. <laughs> okay, this is, this is uh, similar, but we can find different parts. Well, it's similar, a similar map, but we can find different places. For example, here we have also a bank, but we have flower shop, flower shop. We have bookstore, music store. Nowadays, we there's no music store before in the past we have in the curacao we have city planet we have i don't remember but there were some other places where you can you could buy cities or cassettes in the past when you were at home okay so we have toy store yes restaurant supermarket pet shop okay from the pet shop boys hospital fast food restaurant yes and we have school here we have santos domont street Amelia Street and Rosa e Silva Avenue. Okay. So, um, me van a decir, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Dónde están estos lugares? Yo les voy a preguntar. Por ejemplo, si les pregunto, where is uh, the bank? Bueno, yo me voy a poner acá. 
No, no, no es necesario poner en un lugar. Solo le pregunto, where is the bank? Y ustedes me pueden decir, ah, the bank is in front of the flower shop. Ok, in front of the flower shop. Podemos utilizar next to, podemos utilizar um, on, si quieren, ¿verdad? The bank is on Rosa and Silva Avenue in front of the flower shop. Si quieren más, eh, ser más específicos, you can use behind, que está atrás, you, between, que está en medio, en medio de los lugares, ¿ok? Uh, so you can use mainly in front, next to, between, behind, y pueden decir on Santos Dormont Street, on Rosa de Silva Avenue, ¿ok? Fíjense bien, no les estoy pidiendo indicaciones de cómo llegar, sino dónde está ubicado, where is located, and specific place, ¿ok? So we're going to start with Christian, ¿ok? Christian, tell me where is the school? Where is the school? Eh... School, school eh, is, is, is here's the school. Is the part the next to or in front? No, but sería in. No, no, perdón. Vaya, sí, le voy a inventar, ya lo vi. Okay, the school, school is in front of uh, of the fast food restaurant. Okay, I think it is next to. This is in front. Eso está enfrente, okay? So you can uh, you, you can you can say next to here a la par de acá or in front here o enfrente de acá. So, what do you decide? Okay. Mm -hmm. The school is podemos decir next to the fast food restaurant. Oh is in front of the supermarket. Okay, thank you. Now we go with Marlon. Marlon, tell me where is the restaurant? And the restaurant um, is, uh, it, it, the restaurant is in front of supermarket. Okay, yes, okay, in front of the supermarket. Okay, Diana, where is the music store? The music store is um, next to mm -hmm. uh, the toy store. Okay, thank you. That's nice. Dora, tell me where is the supermarket? The supermarket between a pet shop and bookstore. Okay, we can say that. Mm -hmm between the pet shop and the bookstore. Thank you. Okay, now we go with Claudia, que la veo seria esta mujer. Okay, pero cuando le preguntamos ya, como otro mood, otro modo. Okay, Claudia, tell me where is the toy store? Toy store between the music store and the restaurant. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ahora vamos con Nancy para que se ponga activa con el marihuanol. Nancy, where is the flower shop? The flower shop uh, is is under the bank. Uh, vaya. No. Si decís under estaría aquí abajo en el sótano, but no, it's not there. Under es abajo. Uh -huh. Mira la flechita que estoy haciendo, mira. Qué bonita esta flechita. Arriba. Arriba. Se on. Mira, Nancy. In front of, in front of, enfrente. Mira, enfrente. Solo que cruzar enfrente. la calle. Aquí venimos vos, ¿verdad? In front of. In front of. Ok, thank you. Ok, now let's see. Tengo que preguntar a los demás. Carmen. Que se le perdió la cadenita. Ok, Carmen, tell me here, where is the Sport Palace? Sport Palace is uh, on between bank and school. Ok, between bank and school. Thank you. Ok, now we go with Alex. Alex, where is the bank? Is the bank 
is um, from mm -hmm. mail. In front of the mall, mall, the mall mail, mall. Like for electronics. Okay, mall. okay. Leslie, where is the church? Where is the church? Church is in front of in front of park. Okay, thank you, Carla. Where is the mall? The mall in front of park. Okay, the mall is. Recuerden, the mall is. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the bank is, the restaurant is. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, okay, thank you. Okay, we are telling, get around. Where is located your workplace? Necesito que me digan donde está eh, su trabajo, okay? You can mention like this. You can say, for example, uh, my workplace is on 4th Avenue, si conocen la avenida, or the street on 7th Street, donde ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Or you can say my workplace is in Suchitoto, is in Tonacatepeque. Okay, good. Si tienen algún lugar, eh, pueden decir esto. Okay. Pueden decir esta palabra. Near, que significa cerca. Por ejemplo, my workplace is in San Jacinto, near the park, cerca del parque. Okay, fácil. Ok, easy. Near significa cerca. O near the city hall. Because sometimes our workplace uh, is next to or near another uh, very famous or common place. You, uh, maybe you can mention a park, a church, yeah, a supermarket, a bank, ok. A cooperativa. So uh, whatever you think it, it is what it is important to mention. Okay, so where is located uh, your workplace? We're going to start with Diana. Okay, Danita, tell me where is your workplace? And then we go with Claudia. Okay, my workplace is located in Santa Tecla at the Mall Santa Rosa. Ah, wow, that, that's good. That's a quien le voy a rapear. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Okay, Diana, Claudia, and then we go with Christian. Uh, my workplace is um, Santa Tecla at Mall Las Cascadas. Wow, wow. The same, la misma. Si voy un día, apiarle uno y voy otro. Okay, nice. Christian, then we go with Nancy. Uh, my workplace is 27 Poniente Street, uh, number 106, San Salvador. Ok, solo que al inicio, uh, my workplace is on 27. On solo on. 27. Yes, good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ok, who's next? Dora, right? No, Nancy. ¿A quién dije? Nancy, mira la culpa, te corro, de verdad, Nancy. Ok, tell me. My, my work is located. 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 In. Urbanización, urbanización, ¿cómo me dicen? Residential, urbanization. Urbanization, Metropolis Curry, eh, house number five, near the restaurant El, Elisote. Near, near El, Near, near. Elisote, ok. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now we go with Dora. And then my, Carla. My workplace. On, is on is on seven, 79 Avenue Colonia Escalón near Hotel Crown Plaza. Ah, Crown Plaza. Yes, I know there. Yes. Okay. Wow. That's that's good. Uh, Carla and then Alex. And the company is um, is in Santa Tecla. Um, y a um, Mall, el encuentro de los Urdes. Ok, at the mall. At the mall, Thank encuentro de los Urdes. 
Okay. Uh, Alex, we'll go with you. My workplace in Lokair is in Isultan, near the, the bank, in front, front, funerary. Okay, in front, okay. Okay, located, mm -hmm. near. Okay, uh, who's next? We go uh, Leslie, and then uh, we go with Marlon. My work is located in the Santos One Street, San Pablo, number 768, Soya Pango, next to Pupuseria Kevin, and in front of Huesitos Mexican Food Ears. Ears. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, you did a very specific uh, direction. Thank you, thank you, Leslie. Okay, Marlon, and after Marlon, we're going with Carmen. <clears throat> My workplace is located on twenty seventh uh, West Street, uh, near to Teatro de Cámara, Roque de Alto. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Thank you, and we we'll go with Carmen, and then Andrea. My workplace is in Miramonte neighborhood on uh, Bernal Avenue, number 222. Okay, thank you. And we we'll go now with Andrea. My workplace is on N Avenue, San Martin, for seven, between six and eight, street is Santa Tecla de Libertad. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, thank you, Andrea. Okay, um, solo puedo dar dos avisos. One is that, uh, as I told you before, this is the last week, esta es la última semana de este módulo, así que después de, solo nos quedan, ¿qué? 34 minutos para terminar la clase, 40, uh, 34 minutos, and we finish the class, and then we have four more, tenemos, tenemos cuatro más, entonces con esto, quiero comentarles que um, es importante terminar las tareas, pueden avanzar, you can do it in advance, so you're not going to have more homework, que no va a tener más tarea, entonces algunos de ustedes van avanzados, estoy viendo eso y llevan buena nota, no problem eso es uno, lo otro al final de esta semana vamos a tener el final test que va a ser similar al similar a, a, al midterm, verdad que es un examen final que no es tan complicado, ok, son dos cosas, verdad, de, de que con respecto a la evaluación, el otro punto es que durante esta semana le van a llegar una o dos encuestas por favor, please, 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 no las hagan hasta que yo la diga, ¿ok? Hay una encuesta eh, final que la vamos a hacer el último día de clase. No se puede hacer antes, no se puede hacer antes. Se tiene que hacer el último día y se la tienen que hacer conmigo. Yo le voy dando indicaciones, yo le voy explicando los pasos a seguir y todo eso, que es bien rápido, pero se tiene que hacer literalmente en la última clase. Y nos dan un tiempo, por ejemplo de 8.30 a 9 para que la hagamos y así, ¿verdad? y va a haber otra encuesta, me parece que es de satisfacción, ¿verdad? y yo también le voy a comentar, ¿verdad? para que la hagan, que esa sí la pueden hacer, pero déjenme quizás eh, darle las indicaciones ¿verdad? porque eh, cuando les llega una encuesta, normalmente la mayoría de estudiantes la hacen de un solo, ¿verdad? entonces no, ¿verdad? esa la vamos a hacer al final a menos que haya una encuesta de satisfacción y yo les diga, si sí, hagan en su casa pero va a haber una encuesta final, final, ¿verdad? Que la vamos a hacer el último día de clase. Así que, please, please, no la hagan. Y si les llega un mensaje o algo así, me avisan, ¿verdad? Pero si, si les escriben ahí para cobrarles ahí, entonces no, no me digan nada, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí el resto, si te encuesta, please, avisa. Dígame, Andrea. Si ¿Sí ya la hice. <risa> ya les llegó, Andrea. Sí. Este, um, bueno, al menos a mí ahora, eh, pero una de satisfacción. Ah, va. Ok, 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 ok. ¿A quién más? Vaya, vaya, miren, ya veo que todos van así con el dedito. Ay, miren, ahí van todos con el dedito. Ok, vaya. Dígame, va, dígame sus pecados, dígame. Eh, a mí me cayó una de satisfacción ahora. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Y a la hice. 
Uh -huh. Sí, a mí, a mí igual. Ah, va. Sí, es que la, la satisfacción es como se llama. Eh, esa más que todo se evalúa a el docente, me parece, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Va. Ajá, entonces, esa sí la pueden hacer, ¿ok? No problem. Pero va a haber la otra que les va a llegar a partir del miércoles. Y esa no la vayan a hacer, please, no la vayan a hacer, sino que hasta en, en la clase. Y la o otra. Sea que, dicho, o sea que al final, el día miércoles, nos empezarán a enviar esas dos encuestas que usted dice. O eh, solo no, ya sería una. Solo una. Solo Porque una. Porque ya nos enviaron una ahorita. Ya les enviaron una que es la de satisfacción y esa pues la hacen, ah. ¿verdad? Y, y le ponen, sí, el teacher es el más hermoso de todos. Y lo, 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 lo. Pero no, la, pero dos, no me... <risa> la dos. La dos. La dos. Ya vas a ver, Claudia, te voy a preguntar. Espérate, espérate. La dos. Esta sí se trata de, más que todo, de todo el curso. Y del programa. No es necesariamente del, de, de, del teacher, sino que es de todo el curso. Y por eso hay un orden para hacerlas, ¿verdad? porque nos dan hasta cierto horario para que la podamos hacer. Entonces, esa no la hagan, que seguramente les va a llegar el miércoles. Miércoles o jueves, pero ustedes no la hagan, ¿verdad? Como cuando es factura, que ni la quieren ver. Entonces, ¿verdad? Entonces, relax. Hasta el viernes. Y yo les voy a dar todas las indicaciones y las vamos a ir haciendo aquí, juntos. Todos juntos. Les voy también, dicha uh -huh. también llegó eh, un link con el formulario, de, como de un formulario. ¿Te recuerdas de qué era el formulario? Eh, de, creo que ya es para el módulo 2. Sí, lo que sucede es que, bueno, mmm, vamos a tener no. una reunión, ¿verdad? Con, lo, con todos los instructores y nos van a dar indicaciones porque es necesario que ustedes envíen toda la documentación para inscribirse de nuevo en el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Esto no es como si ya se inscribieron en el primer módulo y lo demás ya va a ser automáticamente. No, siempre se tiene que corroborar y todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces se evalúa, ¿verdad? Se evalúa este, la, la cantidad de minutos que ustedes han estado presentes, las tareas, este, las evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Que el midterm, eh, su participación, ¿verdad? No sé si se han dado cuenta, pero a veces una de, 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 la, de las jefas ingresa a la videollamada y ve quiénes tienen cámara encendida, quiénes están participando y cositas así. Entonces todo eso pues eh, forma parte pues, de, de, del puntaje que necesitan, ¿verdad? Para y salir. Que... Uh -huh. Y, es, y, ¿Y afectará que eh, uno no haya podido asistir a alguna clase? Eh, lo ideal es que se asista el 100%, pero se contempla, se contempla que ustedes en algún, por algún dado caso, este, no pueden asistir a una o dos clases, entonces sí hay un rango, ¿verdad? Hay un rango que por lo menos debe de ser a, a arriba del 85% pues, de, de, de las clases, ¿verdad? Entonces hay casos de fuerza mayor, ¿verdad? Y, y que eso pues lo entiende Insafor y lo entiende inglés corporativo pero si ya van a estar faltando más de tres clases, cuatro, cinco, entonces ya es un problema ok Alex okay. así que relax, no pero ustedes para mí no me preocupen ya los veo preocupados, relax relax ok, so we're about to finish we're about to finish están relajados ustedes, ok um, 28 minutos, 28 minutos y terminamos. Lunes, yo sé que es difícil lunes, pero vamos, wow, wow, ánimo, ánimo. Faltan cuatro días para viernesito. Ok. Um, so, you already told me where is uh, your place located. Just uh, let me see, what is this? No. So, we're going to study a conversation. Vamos a estudiar una conversación, pero antes de estudiar la conversación, yo quiero que me digan ¿Qué cosas hay ahí que tienen ustedes? Por ejemplo, si tienen un TV, díganme qué cosas hay ahí en, en su... Where, uh, well, in your bedroom, por ejemplo. ¿Qué cosas tienen ahí? Vean y díganme una oración con respecto a eso. ¿Ok? Si ven calcetines que están sucios, esos no, ¿verdad? Si ven trapos raros, tampoco. ¿Ok? You can use fan, ventilador, you can use TV, comodora que tiene su televisor, a table, a lamp, Window, curtain, un montón de cosas. Ahora ya fue tres cosas, dice que lo va a mostrar. So, let's listen to Claudia, que estaba hablando. Claudia, ¿eh? Claudia, quería participar. Tell me, what do you see in your bedroom? Oh, ¿Qué puedes ver ahí en la habitación? Uh, so, pencil and the bed. Is on the bed, on the bed. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. Porque si es in, está en medio de los colchones. No. On. No, okay. 
Good. And now we go with Christian and then Andrea. What do you see? Uh, refrigerator is uh, is uh, open in front of the uh, in front of the table. Okay, in front of the table, the refrigerator. Okay, good. Andrea, then Carmen. Uh, laptop is on the table. The laptop is on the table. Yes, and you are using it. Okay, Carmen, then Dora. I have a desk, a computer, a printer, and behind me, windows. Wow, okay, perfect. Tiene un ciber, dice Carmen. Okay, Dora, and then we go with Diana. Windows. <coughs> TV. Dog. No, okay, pero do, ¿en qué lugar está? The window is in front, next to. Mm -hmm. TV on the table. Okay. 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 The TV is on the table. Thank you. We go with Diana, then Marlon. Una consulta para decir arriba. Ah, ah podemos decir. Eh, eh, ¿A qué te refieres? No, a la lámpara. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, you can say yes. The lamp is on. ¿Verdad? Puedes decir que está sobre. ¿Verdad? On the, okay. the bedroom. On the bed. Okay. On myself. <laughs> The lamp is on the table. Ok, aquí podemos decir esto. Mira. Podemos decir, en este caso para hablar de eso, podemos decir above. Above significa que está sobre, pero no, no está pegado, porque on es como está pegado. Entonces, above es como above, está arriba de nosotros. Ok, so the lamp is above the table, right? At the table. Ok, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see who's next. Marlon, right? Yes. Uh, I have uh, the window next to me with a curtain. And I have my schedule or agenda. Agenda. Mm -hmm. Agenda. I have my agenda in front of me. Wow. That's nice. Yes. Wow. So ordered. Now let's listen to Leslie. And then we go with Alex. Mm, my daughter on sofa is on the sofa. And is on the sofa and in front of TV. Ah, and she's in front of the TV. Nice. Okay, uh, Alex, and then Carla. I have a TV and window and next to next to. ¿Cómo se dice ropero? Ah, closet. Next to closet. Ok, good. En Carla. Yes, on TV. And. Tablo. And, sorry. So, um, Mesa. Encima. Uh -huh. On. Uh, on. The tablo. Table, on the table. table. Okay. Table. Good. 23 minutes and we finish. 23 minutes y terminamos. So, here we have a conversation using do. Okay. Conversation using would. Si se dan cuenta, vamos avanzando con conversaciones y vamos utilizando más vocabulario. No estamos utilizando solo el mismo vocabulario. Okay. And so, uh, as you can see, here we have. Let me see if we have some other yellow words. No, okay. So here we have pencil, pencil, no pencil, pencil. Como que si la le quitaron, pencil. Eraser, eraser, anything, anything. Sounds, sounds. Think, think, que pensar. View, view, this is building. Como que si no existiera la U. Así. Build. So we have the ending. The ending. This is thought. Thought. Este se pronuncia así. Thought. That's thought. Okay. I thought. Okay. Um, way. 
pero no de way, de way, no sé, way, sino que no, por ejemplo, no way, de ninguna manera, no way. Way es manera o camino. Surprise, characters, everything, everything, everything. Surprise, characters, everything. So, here we have number one. Um, cuando decimos, my gosh, my gosh, o como, oh my God, oh Jesus, cuando decimos, oh Dios mío, oh mi Dios, ¿verdad? My gosh, gosh significa eso. O oh, que es como decir, oh my God. So, uh, here we have the first question. Uh, I need the help from Marlon and Diana. Uh, conversation number two is going to help me, Carmen and Christian. Okay, so here uh, we start. Okay, pencil, eraser, anything. You're the man. Okay, uh, Janita, you're a woman. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> do you have a pen I can use? No, but I have a pencil. Thanks. Do you have an eraser? The pencil has an eraser. Great. And some paper? My gosh, you don't have anything. Cabal. <laughs> Excellent. Cabal, le digo. Okay, great. <laughs> Eh, do you have a pen I can use? ¿Tienes un lapicero que puedo utilizar? No, pero tengo un lápiz. Gracias. ¿Tienes un borrador? Miren, an, porque como aquí va una vocal, no es a eraser, es an eraser. Y le dice, el lápiz tiene un borrador. Y miren, utilizamos has. Has es tener. Pero como pienso, es tercera persona, utilizamos has y no have, ¿verdad? Y le dice, el lápiz tiene un borrador. Genial. Y algo de papel. Y aquí le dice, Diana, le dice, ay, mi Dios. Tú no tienes nada, le dice. Y le pusieron sabor, me llega. Parecen actores de la Rosa de Guadalupe. Thank you. Excellent. Me vamos, number two. Eh, wood, ¿verdad? Tenemos, we have Christian and Carmen in for conversation. Number three, we're going to have Dora. And we're going to have Claudia, que ese es el dúo dinámico de ahora. Conversation three, Dora and Claudia. Ok. So, number two, we go with... Uh, boom. Carmen and Christian, right? Okay, showtime. Uh, would. Would you like a sandwich? I could love a sandwich. And some chips. Some chips sounds nice. Uh, and a drink. Drink. Uh, drink. I'm okay. I have water. Mm -hmm. ¿Te gustaría un sándwich? Me encantaría un sándwich. Love es me encanta. Como en Facebook, me encanta. And some chips y algunas papas. Some chips sounds good. Suena bien. Esa es bien, 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 bien importante esta frase. Sounds nice. Sounds good. Sounds nice. Sounds excellent. Por ejemplo, cuando les preguntan, ¿verdad? Um, would you like a coffee? Yeah, sounds nice. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, in a drink. I'm okay. I have water. Y una bebida, soy bien, tengo agua. Ok, conversation three, we have Dora and Claudia. And for conversation four, ok, uh, we have Andrea and who else? I'm sorry. Andrea and Nancy. Ok. So, Dora and Claudia, uh, no sé quién va a ser man y woman, ustedes deciden. Mm -hmm. What do you think about your new house. It's nice. It has, it has a chicken. A, a kitchen. A, a kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> ya tengo hambre. <laughs> Yo también, me too. <laughs> a big bedroom and a nice bathroom. Do you have a garden? No, but I have a country chair. Nice. Do you have a good view? No, there is a building next door. Building. Building. Bien, me dice, what do you think about, ¿qué piensas? Es bien importante. What do you think about your new house? ¿Qué piensas acerca eh, de tu nueva casa? Y le dice, es bonita. Tiene una cocina, Claudia, no, un pollo. <ríe> Tiene una cocina. Yo sé que se confunde chicken con kitchen, ¿verdad? Pobre Claudita, ya no aguanta. Um, tiene una cocina, un gran dormitorio y un baño muy bonito. Y le pregunta, do you have a garden? Y le dice, no, but I have a courtyard. 
Entonces le pregunta, ¿tiene un jardín? No, pero tengo un courtyard. Courtyard son los patios delanteros donde normalmente hay un estacionamiento, ¿ok? Esa es la diferencia, ¿verdad? Como un patio frontal, ¿verdad? No es un jardín. Un garden es algo grande donde tienes un palito, you have tree, mango tree, lemon tree, ¿verdad? Tienen cositas así. Pero courtyard normalmente es como un parking, es como un estacionamiento y tiene un par de florcitas. Eso es un courtyard. Eh, y le dice, qué bien, tienes una buena vista. Y le dice, no, hay un edificio a la par mía o a la siguiente puerta. Ok, so, ok, number four. Did you like the book? Ok, Andrea and company. Y Nancy. Empiezo. Ah, bueno. Dale. Ok, did you like the book? Yes, I love the ending. 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 Really, I thought the ending, ¿cómo se dice? The ending, the ending. Was not, was not that, that good. good. No way, the surprise at the end was great. 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 Did you like the character? Yes, I liked everything, everything about. About it, ok, I About. like, I like, Ajá. Lo, los I verbos like. que, que terminan en K y son con ED se pronuncian con T, like como work, no sé si se work, sino work, ok, le dicen, did you like the book, ¿Te gustó, te gustó el libro, sí, me encantó el final, de verdad, yo pensé, I thought es el pasado de think, de este, think, aquí está think, Think, que es pensar, y thought es el irregular. Yo pensé. De verdad, yo pensé que el final no era tan bueno. De ninguna manera. No way. De ninguna manera. La sorpresa al final fue genial. Aquí ya estamos utilizando el pasado. ¿Te gustaron los personajes? Sí, me gustó todo acerca de eso. Andrea, ¿a ti te gusta Linkin Park? Me dijiste, ¿verdad? No, ese es Susi. Ah, Susi, ya. Bueno, a mí no es que me guste Linkin Park, pero, no, pero, pero hay una canción que se llama In The End, entonces por eso, ¿verdad? In The End. Ah, no, porque el grupo... No mucho. But, wait. Bueno, seguimos, ¿ok? So, I need you, I need you to have a screenshot, please. Eh, 14 minutos, 14 minutos, and we finish this class. Y terminamos esta clase. So, I'm um, sorry. Ok. Yes, please, I need you to have a screenshot. As always, as a good gentleman, como buenos caballeros, también sabemos que mandan la captura. ¿Verdad? Solo que no te vayan a equivocar, malo, mandar otro tipo de captura de otros chats. Because it's dangerous. It's a big risk. Es un gran riesgo. Ok. Um, so we have a conversation. I'm sorry, conversation for you. Ok, and we are ready to go. Estamos listos para uh, the last activity. Ok, so uh, I'm going to give you like what? Like two minutes, one minute to read the conversation. Vean las conversaciones para que sea más fluida. Eh, si se dan cuenta, si hay palabritas nuevas, we have new vocabulary, but we have also like old words. Son palabras ya viejitas. Ok, so I'm going to assign you couples. Se voy a asignar parejas. So, uh, Check the, the conversation, revisen las conversaciones, que no nos vamos a tomar mucho tiempo. We're not having too much time.
Okay, we're going to practice in like five minutes. Good, good. You like a sandwich? I would love a sandwich. You like a sandwich? I would love a sandwich. And some chip? Some chip sounds nice. And a drink? I'm okay. I have water. Water. The number one or a sandwich? I I would love a sandwich. And some chips? Some chips sound nice. And a drink? I am okay. I have water. 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 Uh -huh. Conversation four. Did you, did you like the book? Yes, I love the ending. Really? I thought the ending was not that good. No way. This ending was not that good. No way. The surprise at the, at the end was great. Did you like the characters? Yes, I liked every about about it. Okay, intercambiamos. Okay, comienzo yo. Conversation one. Hello, everything okay? Todo bien por acá? Eh, no, no oigo a Cristian. Ah, ah, José Miguel. José Miguel. Okay, uh -huh. I think José is. Okay, we're going to practice. Vamos a practicar, Carla, okay? Vamos. Okay. Number one. Do you have a pen I can use? No, but I have a pencil. Thanks. Do you have an eraser? Then pencil as an er Como er eraser. 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 Mm -hmm. Great. And some paper. Me got you don't have anything. Anything. Okay, vamos conversation two. Would you like a sandwich? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I would like a sandwich. And some chips? Some chips, some nice. Nice. And a drink? Yeah, okay. Y how water. Ok, Carla, recuerda siempre se pronuncia ay, esto. Necesito que lo ay. anotes, ¿verdad? Anota la, la palabra y le pones dos puntitos o, o entre paréntesis y la de ahí, a y ay, ¿ok? Para que no tengas problemas, ¿verdad? Ay, I, I have, I have. I have. Yes, I have. Bien, vamos a terminar acá porque ya se va a terminar la clase, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, that's nice. Okay, hello Claudia. Hi. Hi. Ah, 
¿Cómo estás? ¿Con hambre? ¿Hungry? Yes. No llores si te queremos, Claudia. No llores. <laughs> ok. Bien, Claudia, me vas a ayudar. Yo, I need you to pronounce the yellow words. Ok. Ok. Go ahead. Number one. Bouncing. Mm -hmm. Eraser. Anything. Ok. Pencil. Pencil. Eraser. Eraser. Anything. Anything. Pencil, eraser, anything. Okay, and um, I, I listened to some of you uh, in, in this part say some chips sound good. It's sounds, sounds. Okay. Sounds plural, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, no plural, sino que como estamos hablando que esa idea suena bien es en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, sounds good, sounds nice, ¿ok? Entonces, think, ¿verdad? Think, 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 ¿verdad? Y aquí tenemos view, building, view, building. We have also, yes, and I love the ending. Aquí muchos, muchos de los que escuché dicen the ending. Es the ending, the ending. Porque como aquí va una vocal, there is a vowel, por esa vocal ya no se dice the, se dice the. Ok, the ending. Este es thought, ¿verdad? I thought, I thought the ending nuevamente. Ok. Was not that good. Was not that good. También aquí se me confundieron, ¿verdad? Was not that good. No way, the surprise. Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando les preguntan, vaya. Eh, how was the... The fish. Digamos que ustedes comieron un pescado que no estaba tan bueno. Ustedes pueden decir así. It was not good. Esta, si quieren anoten esta, esta frase. Cuando dicen esto, o oh, it's not that bad. O oh, it's Esta sirve bastante. Cuando dicen... It's not that bad, es como, mm, no está tan mal. Si decimos, it's not that good, es como que no está tan bien. Por ejemplo, how, eh, si alguien ya vio la película de Fast and Furious, la última, no sé qué número es, la Rápido y Furioso, y alguien me puede decir, ah, it is not that bad, no está tan mal. Pero mi hermano, my brother eh, saw it, mi hermano ya la vio y me dijo, it is not that good, no está tan buena. Es lo que me dijeron, ok? So, I don't know. Hey, eh, Your likes, no sé, sus gustos, ¿verdad? Pero entonces, si le pregunta, how, how was Fast and Furious movies, movie? Um, it is not that good. No está tan bien. It is not that bad. Entonces, en este paso, en este caso, I thought the ending was not that good. Was not that good. Yo pensé que el final no estaba tan bien. Y le dicen, no way. De ninguna manera. The surprise at the end was great. La sorpresa al final fue genial. Entonces, eh, si les preguntan, uh -huh. eh, how is it, how is it, what? Mm. La Rosa de Guadalupe. It is not that good. No está tan bien. O oh, si a ustedes les gusta, it is not that bad. No está tan mal. So, this is a, like a phrase that you can use a lot. Es una frase que ustedes pueden eh, pues, utilizar bastante. Okay, you can use it a lot. Okay, and we're about eh, to finish. I'm going to check the attendance list and we finish the terminal. So, um, let's see. Alberto Soriano, no. She couldn't be here. Andrea. Andreita. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Carmen. Present. Good. Cesar. Uh, okay. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Present. Thank you. Christian. Present. Nice. Alex. Present. Good. Diana. Present. Nice. Uh, Dora. Present. Okay, good. Yes, Jose Miguel, ya vi el mensaje. Good. Carla. Present. Good. Okay, Kelvin. No. Uh, Leslie. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marlon. Present. Good. Nancy. Present. Perfect. 
Susie couldn't be here. Y Judy me parece que iba manejando. Ok. So, Ever, hello, Ever. Good evening. Creo que te pudiste conectar Present. al final. Sí, Present. Ever. Thank you. Te pudiste conectar uh -huh. al final. Ok. Es que... Dime. <ríe> sí. Es que fíjense que um, todos estos días a mí me cuesta por este, que me toca viajar bastante de noche. Entonces, oh, okay. te, muchas veces voy manejando y voy escuchando la, la, sí. la clase. Sí, ok, ok. Bueno, mm -hmm. los, los minutos te cuentan, pero sí es importante que sepas para lo de la participación y todo eso, ok. Porque sí están monitoreando ah. eso. Okay. ok. Ok, my friends, please, hagan las tareas por adelantado para que no tengan mucho que hacer, ok. So, see you tomorrow. Teacher, lo, sí. solo... ¿Cómo se pronuncia character o characters? Character, character. Characters. Ok, gracias. Characters. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome, my friend. It's a pleasure. Goodbye. Descanse. See you tomorrow. Carmen, 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 Carmen. Ahí te toca. Good evening, José. Carmencita, te me ibas. No, this. Ok, Carmen. I think uh, we can take advantage of this time. Te vas a dar cuenta que esto pasa volando. Los 10 minutos ni lo vas a sentir. So, okay, um, okay. Um, we can do different things. For example, we can review or reinforce one topic that maybe it's difficult for you. Reforzar un tema. We can study vocabulary or we can have like a short conversation, like a short interview. Así que podemos hacer cualquiera de esas tres cosas. Tú sugieres. Tú mm. me dices qué te gustaría. Short conversation. Ok, the short conversation. Ok, so I'm going to ask questions. And if you want, you can ask me questions. Ok. It is a okay. normal, it is a basic interview. <laughs> es una, una, una entrevista básica. So you relax, ¿verdad? Si tú no captas, excuse me, repeat please. Ok. Oh, I don't get it. No, no entiendo. Okay. ok. You're relaxed. Tu inglés es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Solo que no te pongas nerviosa. Yo te voy a hacer preguntas que ya hemos estudiado. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, so nice. So, hi Carmen, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine. Okay. And you? Well, I'm perfect. Thank you for asking. Uh, Carmen, what's your middle name? My middle name is Calderón. Okay. Ah, well, no, el last name, Calderón. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. My middle name is Gustavo. Mm -hmm. uh, Carmen? So, no, my name no. is Josué. And my middle uh, name is Gustavo. So your middle name is? René. Okay, that's nice. And your last name is? Calderón. Calderón, that's perfect. Okay, how old are you, Carmen? I have... Uh, 40 years old. Oh, I am. I am 40. I okay. am 40 years okay, old. Okay, that's nice. And how do you spell your last name? Deletrear. How do you spell your last name? Uh, C A L D I. No. E, e R O N. Perfect. That's nice. Okay, uh, Carmen, what's your occupation? I'm a cooperation director. Okay, good. And can you mention one or two functions that you do at work? I make the project. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, you, I have um, reuniones. Ah, meetings, yeah. Meetings. I have meetings, of meetings, course. Uh, with a cooperator. Yes, that's nice. Yes, so you work with a, in the administration area, right? Because you you can, well, you you have meetings with cooperators, and well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I work in the uh, public institution. Mm -hmm. Ah, with with public institutions. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. And how much? time have you worked in, in that area? Like 10 years, five years of experience? Mm -hmm. Experience in the cooperation? Or, yeah, 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 in the cooperation. In no, work? no, experience in the cooperation area. Uh, three years. Okay, that's fine, that's good. Okay, uh, Carmen, can you tell me what time is it? It's a... Uh, 
ten, ten mm -hmm. in four min minutes. That's perfect. Okay, and um, uh, can you describe two family members, please? My old brother is tall, is a white a need no skin white skin yeah white, white skin. skin yeah white skin um is hungry <laughs> <laughs> nice angry okay and my uh, child is too white skin mm -hmm. is cute is funny okay that's nice okay good very good descriptions. Okay, now Carmen, tell me about yourself. Anything about you, whatever you want to say, your favorite things, animals, what you like to do, your favorite pastime. Mm -hmm. um, my, mm -hmm. my pet favorite mm -hmm. Oh, favorite pet. Favorite pet. Favorite pet is at all. Um, my favorite pastime is with my family. Mm -hmm. yeah, my, uh, and my favorite place is a beach. Mm -hmm. The beach. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And what about the music? What kind of music do you like? Or TV shows or movies? The music, my favorite music is a uh, uh, reggae and in a uh, bayonet mm -hmm. that's perfect what about movies uh, i like the comedia como se dice? comedia mm -hmm. comedia okay for example the where where is the blondies <laughs> that's nice yes uh, a very a very the very funny movie okay carmen now uh, tell me um, you just you told me or you mentioned that your favorite pastime is um spend time with your family. Okay. See. Sí. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. That, that that's fine. And uh, what do you do usually during uh, Monday and Friday, the weekdays? Mm -hmm. Can you mention like four routines that you do during the week? Mm. Get up at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. At seven, I go to my work. Okay. I return to my house at five in, in theory. Mm -hmm. I cooking the diner. Ah, the dinner. Yeah, the, the dinner. The dinner. And Finally, my English class. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> okay, nice. Do you work on Saturdays? Eh, casi nunca, como se dice. Hardly ever, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay, hardly ever. Okay, that's nice. And how often do you go to the beach? Mm, once a month. Well, some of that's perfect. You need to go to the beach to relax, yeah. okay? You have to have fun with your family or friends. Okay, that's good. And uh, what about how often do you visit uh, your family? Maybe your other brothers or your grandpas or your aunts? Uh, I don't have five. I ah, have okay. mom. Mother. But does your mother live with you or in another part, in another house? In a different house. In Aguachapan. I know what Japan. My, so you... <laughs> my mom in law. Como se suegra? Uh, mother in law. Mother in law, two. Ah, two. Okay. So you visit uh, them in Aguachapan. Okay. Yeah. That, that's interesting. So your family is from Aguachapan. Yeah. Okay. That, that is my cool. my husband and I are uh, from are from, are from Awachapan. Awachapan. Okay, that's perfect. 
Ok, que Hermesita se nos acabó el tiempo, mira. Ya ves que pasa bien rápido. Uy, sí. qué nervios. No, mira, te felicito, te felicito. Hay detallitos, por ejemplo, en la edad, y yo recuerdo que hace tiempo también me dijiste, I have, ¿verdad? Y yo I te have. corregí, pero I siempre, am. fíjate que eso pasa cuando a veces estamos un poquito tensos, ya hemos practicado ciertas cosas, pero no. Como que si el cerebro otra vez vuelve a como estaba antes. Entonces, eh, yo considero que en, en esos días has obtenido más fluidez. Te veo, aunque, aunque estés nerviosa, no se te nota mucho, fíjate. O pues se te mm. nota. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, algo que me gusta de ti es que tú tratas eh, de, de, de pensar ciertas cosas y vas diciendo las cosas. Como te decía, no es necesario decirlo rápido. Sí, hay que tener cierta velocidad, pero lo importante es comunicar la idea. Entonces nos entendimos. ¿Pasamos qué? Alrededor de siete minutos hablando en inglés. Y tú... Ah, es, yo, pues sí, tú estabas hablando. Realmente, en, en mi trabajo hay momentos en que es necesario. Y la mayoría de técnicos que tengo sí pueden inglés. Sí, 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 te comprendo. Entonces, uh -huh. lo importante es siempre parte de, de, de eso. Fíjate que lo que te puedo sugerir es que tú veas eh, cómo reuniones así en inglés, con subtítulos en inglés, y veas cómo se hacen las preguntas, ese, cómo se, cuando, por ejemplo, están desarrollando una agenda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cómo se dice la bienvenida, cómo presentar a alguien, ¿verdad? Entonces son cositas así, porque a veces en los trabajos, yo estuve trabajando en fundaciones y en ONGs, y sí, llegan cooperantes, sí, llega gente a supervisar proyectos, ¿verdad? Y, y todo eso, entonces, si es necesario, o por lo menos... Eh, por lo menos dar una breve explicación. A veces cuando los cooperantes quieren ir a los lugares o a supervisar o ver cómo va un, el, el seguimiento o el avance de ciertos proyectos, necesitan, ¿verdad? Una, una, una breve reseña, ¿verdad? O ciertas cosas. Sí. Pero, uh -huh. No, yo te entiendo y si es necesario. Es súper importante que tú lo aprendas. Mm, y, y de hecho eh, hice un test cuando iba a meterme a esto y no salí en este nivel pero dije, ah, no, yo siento que yo no entiendo, aunque no haya salido un poquito más arriba, así que voy a dar desde el principiante. Es mejor, es mejor. Espero que, que hayas aprendido aquí conmigo pues, ciertas cositas, ¿verdad? Entonces, de eso se trata. Ya. De, de, de Thanks. Eso. No, it's a pleasure, ¿verdad? Si te das cuenta, es un nivel bien básico, pero por eso yo intento darles ciertas pistas, ciertas keywords, palabras clave, para que generen más confianza y al siguiente nivel pues ya vayan todavía eh, más avanzados, ¿verdad? Okay. Así, que, así que ánimo, Carmen, ¿verdad? Te felicito. Tú tienes un gran potencial, así que ánimo. Dale, no te desanimes. Dale. Ok. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Es un placer, it's a pleasure, ¿ok? Así que pues me despido, Carmen, si te me cuidas. Gracias, Buenas noches, chao. Buenas noches.